Alrighty, so I have another, I have another shelf here, bookshelf, that I'm using to house my fragrances. It's getting a little out of hand. Anyway, I wanted to come on here because I am really scouring through my suitcases. Yes, plural for my very mini vacation that I'm going on with my girlfriends. And so I'm just finalizing everything. And one of the things I'm finalizing are my fragrances and my lotions, so, cause they're scented. So I wanted to just come on here and show you guys the uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 fragrances, <laughs> possibly 14 actually, cause I'm really not a big fan of I'm not a big fan, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of uh, odd numbers like that. So this gives me a reason. Oh, no. Okay, I'll do this one first. The reason that I was wondering why I thought I had an even number, I do. Because I'm going to bring Flora Botanica, but I have to decant it, which means I have to order more decants. Because what had happened was, okay, I'm going to tell you a story real quick. What had happened was I had a decant of it already. So I was going to bring it with me, the already decanted that I got it from FragranceNet. However, what had happened, um, Mother's Day happened and my mother came over and I gave her a, like, a bunch of decants of fragrances. And I remember her being like, oh my god, you smell so good. And I was wearing Flora Botanica, so I just gave her my Flora Botanica. So, like, not the big one, the 1.6 ounces right there. Like, decant. Like, so I got these decants from um, Amazon. And, of course, there was no juice in there. There, there was no juice. I put the juice in there. Um, and then I bought myself a cute little pink printer. And so um, I printed it out and labeled them and stuff. So I have organized this because there's a method to my madness, okay? So I have here freshy type of scents, um, freshy, clean type of scents. Then I have my sweet gourmand type of scents. Then I have my, uh, hmm, what would you call this? my citrus, my fruity type of scent, and then I have my musky, powdery, lovely type of scents, okay? So I have different categories, because, I mean, I'm just not sure I've never been where I'm going, so I just have to make sure I cover all my bases, because why not? And since I will be having a bag that will be checked, I figured it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm getting anxiety thinking about checking my bag. I don't really check bags like ever. Even when I went on my honeymoon and I was gone for two weeks to Bali, Indonesia, I went in a travel on. My husband doesn't really wear a lot of clothes when he goes out on vacation. I mean, he wears clothes, excuse me. He doesn't wear a lot of like, um, like he just doesn't need mad options. I need two to three outfits per day wherever I go for vacation. He just needs one. Um, so I used his stuff. But um, I will be, I have two travel on and one will be checked. Anyway, I digress. Let's talk about the fragrances I'm going to be bringing with me on my vacation. So let's go first. We're going to start with the musky powdery type of scents. Okay, so the first one is Yellow dreams. Okay, let's talk about this one. So, one thing I wanted to know, it is yellow. I love that. Even like coming out of the bottle. Mm. Oh my gosh. Wait, did it spill a little bit? No, it didn't. It's just a really strong smell. Yellow dreams is such a nice musky slightly sweet slightly citrusy type of fragrance. So you have musky citrus rose powdery aromatic and floral going on in here uh this is all this on my skin is like a, a very feminine musk 
sweet fragrance um, that does wonders on my skin and lasts a pretty decent amount of time. It doesn't project super far, but it is off of the skin. Oh, it's such a wonderful scent. And I just wanted to bring it with me, one, because I like the smell, and two, because I'm going to try it out and see if it gets too much in the heat. Because we all know heat can make a fragrance, do some wild-ish. Oh my gosh, real quick, let's get sidetracked for a second. I put on Madame Rose, which is a dupe for Delina from Ultra, I believe. I think it's a dupe for Delina. Y'all almost killed myself today. I, put, I just sprayed it right here and had to go wash it off. That, I don't know what was booming in my face, but it was too strong. And it was, it's only like 73 degrees, okay? Like, it's ridiculous. I could not wear it. So, yeah. Next um, musky one, musky powdery one is Gucci Guilty Love Edition. I actually haven't tried this fragrance like that out. Um, however, I'm going to take it with me so I can start the testing process. <clears throat> I did, of course, you know, and the notes, let's see. It's a very powdery, okay. It's a very powdery, fruity fragrance. Off of first sniff. On main accords of powdery, floral, violet, musky, fruity, citrus, sweet, fresh, woody, aquatic. Okay, so right now I'm definitely not getting no fresh. Definitely not getting no aquatic. I'm getting very powdery and fruity, which is a nice, interesting combo. And it's really not obnoxious. So I'm going to read these notes just because this, this one's new to me, okay? Top notes of raspberry, narcissus, narcissus, narcissus. Watery notes, bergamot and grapefruit. Middle notes of violet, flower petals, and jasmine sambac. Base notes of musk, patchouli, and amber. This is a very nice fragrance. It's actually really not strong like that. So the reason why I even got this decant is because apparently it is discontinued. So I wanted to, before I go buy a big bottle, because it's in a really cute pink bottle, I decided to de decant it. Not decant it, get it from Fragrance Net. Look. And it wasn't expensive at all. This is, smells really good. I like this. And I'm, we're going to see how it wears on my skin. Always try something on your, always try something on your skin. Because you'll be like sprayed on the paper, right? In a store and be like, oh my God, it's so great. I'll get one. And then you go home and then one of the days you go try it. And then you're like, that is not giving what it's supposed to give. You know what I mean? It's a struggle out here. It's a struggle out here. But yeah, so Gucci Guilty Love Edition. This is actually giving me, um, oh, I'll tell you what it's giving me as well. So Yellow Dreams is giving me like daytime, um, chilling. I could, I mean, I would even go and do like some type of like activity with this. Uh, for me, Gucci Guilty is almost giving me nighttime. Okay, I'm sipping on some cocktails. I might decide to go into the water. I might not. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay if the water washed away the fragrance. It is what it is. So those are the only musky powdery type fragrances I'm bringing with me. I'm not really bringing a lot of those because it's going to be quite warm. And then there's supposed to be like sporadic thunderstorms. And yeah, so two of those. The next one is I'm bringing this whole bottle because it's a very affordable fragrance. And I be a little sad of course if something happens to it but it's not the end of the world the decanting process is a lot so i have here fruity brown sugar which what is this supposed to be a dupe for um miss dossier dossier i can't remember now oh no this smells so good when i first um unboxed this i was not I didn't dislike it because I still have it, um, but I wasn't shook. I wasn't getting all of the berries and, and the fruits that it claimed was in here. I, I, I smelt it, but it wasn't like the smell wasn't smelling like it should. Am I making sense? I'm probably not making sense. My point of what I'm saying is there was definitely a whole lot of brown sugar, vanilla, amber in here. Something, and, and now I'm getting a whole lot. The pear is actually... It reminded me of the next, the of the other fragrance I'm about to tell you about. But let's real quick type in brown sugar. Is this not going to work? Okay, here we go. Oh, YSL's Mon Perry. So I actually want YSL's Mon Perry um, Intensement. Intensement? Intensement? I don't know how you're supposed to say it. 
I feel like you know what I'm saying. I love the bottle and it smells really good, but this is good. This is really nice. So I'm just going to bring this with me. I'm definitely getting the raspberry, the pear. It's not really bubbling in my nose, which is typically what bergamot does, but you know, middle notes of jasmine, orange blossom and brown sugar and base notes of patchouli, amber and vanilla. So this whole bottle is just going to come with me. The next one is actually, okay. I was, I liked it. I'm actually, y'all, I'm going to see if I can insert this video in the, after I finish the live, in um, the box, um, where, I, where I opened up these oils. I did get a bunch of oils from Oil Perfumery, and it's an older video. Um, and I liked, uh, what am I talking about? Aventus for her, um, their impression of it. I liked it, but I wasn't like... Like, Baccarat Rouge Dry 40 had me shook. Tobacco Vanille had me shaking, like, earthquake. Like, <laughs> y'all know that movie? Oh, my God. <laughs> With Solange and <laughs> the cheerleading movie. Ooh. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. So, this in here, if there's not pineapple in here, I will be so shook. I was not smelling... Not... Not me trying to spell and I can't spell. I was not smelling the sweet pineapple like I'm smelling the sweet pineapple. This smells so fat good. Aventus for her was giving me like it could be worn by a man, could be worn by a woman. But now it's giving definitely like for her. Um, for sure. Oh my gosh. So I'm actually wearing it today. And this is... What I tell you? I knew there was pineapple in here. Top notes of bergamot, black currant leaves, apple and pineapple. Heart notes of pink berries. Okay, ma'am. Birch. Birch? Like, like the tree? Patchouli and jasmine, don't mind me. Base notes of musk, oak moss, ambergris, and vanilla. This is so nice. So good. But it, it, it's not gourmand it's definitely very fruity but the pineapple is super strong in here it's so nice oh my gosh it it smells fresh um and sweet at the same time it, it it it's really nice and i like that you know it's oil because sometimes you don't always want to spray yourself especially when it's mad heat so being able to just And just go about your business is going to be nice. <laughs> you know what I'll also do? I'll pack myself some unscented lotion. And I, the, per chance, I might pop this open and mix it with the lotion and then use this as my scent. This Aventus for her is the vibe. And it is 14, well, it's on sale for $14.95 right now. <laughs> Oil perfumery. Yes, ma'am. The, okay, so... The pear in here is giving me similar vibes to the pear in Joe Malone's English Pear and Freesia. No, this right here is, is not to be played with. It's not to be giggled with. This is actually, this is giving a vibe. Okay, because I'm obsessed with the show, I have to talk about it, okay? If you've watched Bridgerton, Br Bridgerton, you know what I'm talking about. For some reason, this English parent Frisia is giving me, oh my gosh, what's that black woman's name? The boss, okay, she's boss lady, basically just underneath the queen, okay? She'd be hosting the ball of the balls, the lady balls, men can't come. Listen, okay, she, she, howl, she housed the... The ladies who then fell in love with the Mr. Bridgerton. Listen, listen. This, I feel like, would be her scent, okay? It's not obnoxious because she doesn't need to do too much, okay? She doesn't need to do too much. She does things on a low low, and she's smart, and she knows what she's talking about, but she's very feminine, and she's beautiful, and she's a little sassy, but she sticks to the rules sometimes. Listen, this is what it's giving me, okay? English pear and freesia. English pear and freesia. No, Saman, I need a bigger bottle of this. You know what else I have from Joe Malone? 
um, is this right here. This is mimosa and cardamom. I'm scared to bring this with me because it's not a cheap fragrance. I don't think any of the Jo Malone fragrances are cheap like that, affordable. So there's something about mimosa and cardamom. If you find me talk, say, saying after my trip, I brought this with me, like a decant of this with me, just know I tried not to, okay? I tried my best not to bring it with me and I couldn't help myself. It's a very fresh fragrance with a little bit of spice. A little, just like that, just a, no, not like that, like this. Just a little bit, you know what I mean? Mm. days i should do another haul from them anyway let me stop um i like this actually definitely a fresh slightly spicy fragrance slightly i think it's the cardamom giving me a pinch of spice um you know what this is actually in my opinion along the lines of this mimosa and cardamom along the lines of tuli de hermes so tuli de hermes is quite spicy that ginger is gingering the ginger is gingering more than ginger does ginger you know what i'm saying but the cardamom in here gives it that little bit of spice a little bit of seasoning while making it fresh just like totally there this is a very nice no i'm gonna have to decant some of this it is what it is it's fine it's fine it's fine yeah i'm gonna leave this right here because i'm packing these today so <laughs> That, those are, <laughs> these three are the um, fruity fragrances I will be bringing with me. So I'm going to just add this to here so that we keep organized. Okay, now on to my sweet section. I have to bring Rouge Smoking with me. Listen, I just don't feel whole if I don't bring Rouge Smoking with me. Look at the dent in this. I have to, <laughs> I have to overpack. Yes. I, my husband is always like, you don't need two to three fits for only a every day. And I'm like, I actually do. You just don't know what vibe you're trying to go with. And now that I'm really big and big doing too much with fragrances, I feel like I need the most fragrances too. And then you need different shoes. It just turns into a whole lot of things. You know what I mean? It's just a lot. But anyway, I got sidetracked. So BDK Parfums Rouge Smoking is definitely, oh, it's a very smooth, sweet, but not like childish. The cherry in here is a very sensual, there's like a very sensual vibe going on here. I don't think there's an actual almond note, but I'm telling you, there's almond in here. They're, they, listen, I really don't, Listen, I really don't think these perfume companies put all of the notes out there for us to consume, okay? They got to keep their secrets a little bit. Just a little bit of secrets close to their vest. I really do. Because there's been too many fragrances where I'll smell it and I'll be like, are you sure this is not in here? Okay. Anyway, main accords of vanilla, sweet, powdery, amber, cherry, musky, almond, woody, and balsamic. And I'm not going to read the notes, but just know there's no almond notes in here. There's a cherry note. You got powdery, you know, it's wonderful. It's not a booming fragrance. And girl, you know, I packed a little cute little red little jumper, a little romper, not jumper, romper, so I could wear this with it because it's just giving me fierce, sensual mm, 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 type of vibe. It's just giving all of the things it's to give, basically. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> Um, the next one that I'm bringing with me, I felt like this fragrance got a lot of dislike in when it first dropped and I could never understand why. And I need a full size bottle. Why are you fighting me? What's going on here? So this is Goddess, Alien Goddess. This is amazing. So what i like about this actually funny enough is not even the coconut -y of um situation that's coming in here i like the vanilla 
musky powdery vibe I'm getting in it and the coconut is not doing too much because for some reason okay coconut for me okay as you can see I'm a melanated queen and uh greased I got my scalp greased a lot growing up and coconut and fragrances for me a lot of the time smells like the hair grease I grew up putting in my head which is not a bad smell just not per se what I'm trying to smell like when I spray do you know what I mean like mm. but this is not giving the same thing this does however is not using like coconut coconut it's using coconut water which might be why it's different bergamot bergamot excuse me jasmine heliotrope bourbon vanilla I feel like bourbon vanilla is the rainbows of life when it comes to fragrance bourbon vanilla is that girl okay what is another fragrance that has bourbon vanilla i think um valentino donna born in roma has it how do you oh so i have a clear bag like you know the bags that are um approved by um tsa even if i'm checking my bag i then take some clear tape and i'll tape it to the inside of the bag so they stay upright yes valentina donna born in roma with that bourbon vanilla it's greatness but yeah that's basically what i do and i just keep them however they're supposed to be and then tape it to the inside of the bag and then if there's still space there's usually not space so i'll stuff it um but there's usually not space so i don't have to stuff anything but that's what i would suggest if you just leave it shaking around in there there's a high chance that movement of the plane and all, all of this is going to slowly start to untwist it like oh i and i didn't even put that much pressure into untwisting this so taping it down is your best bet or overstuffing your bag to the point in that tsa bag that it's definitely not going to move at all um the other thing I have done before, which was really extra, but nothing spilled at that time. Um, I took, you know, the hanging strip tape that you can use with Velcro. <laughs> um, I put that on the outside of the TSA approved bag and then put it, the other one on the actual suitcase on the inside and stuck it there and it really didn't move you just don't want to spill anything these fragrances aren't cheap okay the fragrances are not cheap and you don't want your whole clothes to smell like a mishposh of craziness but yeah there goes that listen if i don't bring this next fragrance spray thing with me i just feel like i'm not doing summer justice and although it's not summer or summer here in the u.s it is gonna be summer feeling in the tropics where i'm going so i have to bring listen Sol de Janeiro? If I don't bring this fragrance, no. It is the best gourmand scent for the summer to me. And I just feel like it actually doesn't last too terribly for being like, it's like a body mist. No. Oh, wow, I smell so good. Oh, no. Wow, caramelized vanilla, sea salt, toasted macadamia nut, white chocolate, tonka bean, and coconut blossom. Ooh. Okay, so this is not a fruity fragrance. I actually just did the fruity fragrances I'm going to bring with me, but fruity brown sugar. Yes, um, fruity brown sugar is... Um, a dupe for Mon Perry. So if you don't like dupes, you can just get Mon Perry. Uh, but this is definitely quite fruity. I love pear, raspberry. Those are some really nice, bright type of fragrance notes. Um, English pear and Frieza. Frieza, although this is not, uh, Home Alone is not that affordable. If you wanted a little bit more affordable, you could go, I mean, honestly, the entire a lot of dossier fragrances, so, Sophia by Sophia Vergara is like a citrusy type of fruity. Are you going for like a citrusy type of fruity or you want like sweet fruits? Honestly, you could also just tell me any like two fruits that you're really looking for and I could probably recommend at least one fragrance for each. So, let me know. 
and I'm gonna keep going while I wait for that. The, um, so those are the three gourmand scents I'll be bringing with me. So right now, <laughs> we have a lot. And then the biggest pile is my freshie-esque type of fragrances. So Mimosa and Cardamom is coming with me. We already talked about that. Clean? No, listen. Clean Reserves Rain. There is something so nice about this. I, I keep coming back here because I have the notes up over here. White floral, citrus, patchouli, woody, fresh, spicy, warm, spicy, aromatic, and earthy. There is something so very sweet, fruity, or tropical fruity. Okay, give me two seconds. There is something so lovely about this. It's beautiful, this rain right here and it actually doesn't last too like it lasts decent i think it's the patchouli on there for sure for sure for sure okay i'm gonna try to remember the questions so let me go with you said tropical and like real fruity so the first thing i honestly would recommend for like tropical would be alien goddess i i you and you can go to ulta like macy's there's a lot of stores where you can go and smell it um and spray it on yourself girl go spray it on yourself and then leave walk around a little bit let it settle in your skin and your pores and then smell it maybe eat some lunch in the mall or go buy shopping something or something or another and then go back smell your hand and then you can really tell how you feel about it but the coconut water mixes so well with the vanilla the bergamot and all the other great notes and the bourbon vanilla in here is so nice and you would think it'd be really really like thick but it's not it's the, such a beautiful scent sometimes it gives slight sunscreen but in the most bougie way possible like don't think like oh no i'm about to be smelling like crazy sun no this is a really nice one another fruity fragrance that i think oh my gosh okay so <clears throat> yes tropical um green tea by elizabeth arden okay the only okay <laughs> there's two reasons why i'm recommending this this does not last long it is a spray it's a spray but the orange peel green tea that my watch is telling me to have a mindful moment so let's have a mindful moment to the amount of fragrances i'm packing Anyway, we're going to keep it moving because that's my business. Um, this is such a lovely fragrance and it's so affordable that you can spray and spray and spray and spray some more because, I, 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 listen, I'm over spray, Yana. It's the orange peel in here. It's very bright, slightly fruity, and then the green tea blends really, really nice. <gasps> Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. And the last one I wanted to point out for you for Fruity. Where is it? Here it is. Have you tried Angel Nova? Have you tried Angel Nova? Yeah, green. Okay. I want the whole line, to be honest. And then I want the white tea. I just honestly want most of the Elizabeth Arden fragrances. There is something about the Angel Nova. This is the Eau de Parfum, but I, I do have smelled the um, Eau de Toilette, which is also nice. It's just a fresher version of it. But this is very fruity. This is... Mm. This is very... I mean, the color of the bottle can tell you it's a very feminine type of fruity, girly little bit, fun type of fragrance that really gives me all the feels. All the feels i'm loving this actually yes this is really nice um and not to it's such a hype brand right now so i don't like <laughs> but i have to mention it um kayali's uh eden juicy apple all one it's a lot of people are saying it's like uh like overhyped like body splash it lasts about five hours on my skin which is pretty good because fruity you know fruity fragrances have a little struggle sometimes but the juicy red apple in there yeah oh yeah this lasts a really good amount of time girl um but the juicy red apple in there and the berry like it just smells so 
good like you literally have taken like a red delicious apple and you've been into it and you can get their minis i have a bunch of their minis if you could see right here for 25 dollars. and quite honestly like you've seen i, I have sprayed this but there's a, quite a bit of sprays in here y'all my room about to smell like no it almost smells like Oh, excuse me. It almost smells like um, someone just chopped up a bunch of apples and has the oven on. The apples haven't actually gone into the oven, but they're waiting to take their turn in the oven. And it's like, it's so good. This is so good. I'm going to get the bigger bottle soon. I have so many fragrances I want to get. Anyway, those are the fragrances. Oh, where am I going? I'm going to Costa Rica. Yes. I'm going to Costa Rica, um, so I'm super excited for that. I heard, so here's my thing. The month of May and I think it's the month of April and May are the rainy season, so it's like more affordable. Um, but when I went, I went to Bali during its rainy season and their rainy season's not like America's rainy time because we'll rain and we'll rain for the whole day and that's kind of it. oh um be delicious yes yes um so i think a good fragrance is one you could use for more than thank you more than one season and so juicy red apple by K, um kegali it definitely could also be used for fall if you were to take that and i'm saying this because i've done it already if you take that and this is twenty dollars okay and you mixed it with this it's literally giving you the most perfectly cooked apple pie it's the most delicious when you mix your fragrances you can really create concoct a really like nice fragrance the only reason why i would say by itself kayali is more of like a spring summer scent to me it's a very bright fragrance not that you can't have bright wear whatever you want when you want to wear it but for me the brighter the fragrance are fragrances are more for spring summer um and so when not fall winter i want a little depth i want a little depth in my fragrances right i'm thinking like desserts okay gourmands come out to play heavy in the fall and, and um, winter so yeah you can mix it with both so and call it a day um where was i oh yeah so onto my freshies i'm bringing chanel chance au fraiche a lot of people talk about old tendre i have the dupe for it i've worn it i think once i like it um, are you taking your big fragrances to travel? I think only fruity brown sugar. Here's my thing. The way my little heart will break into 635,000 pieces if a bottle breaks. If someone teeth a bottle out my, my, my suitcase. Like, this cost me, I think, 80, 90 bucks, which is not cheap to me. Okay, and if it goes missing, I'm going to have to, I am going to have to search the whole airport. No one can leave the airport until Nay has found her fragrance. So I can't, the only big bottle I'm bringing with me is this. I decanted a bunch of this. <laughs> and they take, oh, they take up a lot of room. They take up a lot of room. Um, they take up a lot of room, but, um, yeah, I got these from, uh, Amazon. It was like 15 bucks for six of them. And it came on like a little funnel and you just spray into the funnel it drops in. So I just decanted some fragrances. Like this is Chanel Fresh, but this is just a very, honestly, I've worn it a lot working out. I've gone on to eat with this fragrance. I just feel kind of bougie, kind of self-care extraordinaire kind of classy kind of slightly sexy <laughs> no i'm so serious that's the problem like i really would need everyone to stop everyone freeze bring down the what are those things like the little shutters lock the windows lock the doors get off the airplanes if you're on the airplane close the airplane and keep it moving <laughs> just a few days Listen, I have kids. I can't really be leaving that long. So I'm only going to be gone for a few days. 
it's a long weekend that's it but that's okay because that's all i need your girl needs a break um the next fragrance is clean reserves radiant nectar this is actually another fruity fragrance but it's very fresh so if angel nova's edp is very like strong in your face type of fragrance um sweet fruity fragrance radiant nectar is definitely fruity but it's a fresh very yummy but um closer to the skin less booming type of fragrance but it gets the job done and i actually have two of these little ones because this came in a sample pack of, what, of which i wanted to try other fragrances so i have been spraying the other one so i'm bringing this one with me i'm bringing versace bright crystal with me and i'm not sure what beef i have with versace bright crystal and um chanel's otandra but they're just not giving me feminine enough but i want to give it a chance you can see i've tried it i've given it a few chances but i'm gonna take it on vacation with me i'm gonna give it more chances people talk about how amazing this is in the heat and so on and so forth i don't know maybe because it just doesn't have enough sweetness in my opinion i'm not sure anyway i have to get off of this so let me do the last fragrance i'm bringing and this is this is aqua allegoria mandarin basilic basilic listen i should have never smelled this fragrance <laughs> this is giving me the bougier longer lasting but still not that long lasting greatness of green, elizabeth arden's green tea it's an orange peel note in here for me i'm not even sure if i'm not even sure if tea i don't think tea is even a note but i feel like i smell some type of tea it's giving me like that fruity teas that you can buy. It smells so good and it lasts about four hours, which is really not that great, especially since they're not affordable at all. I think it's like 160 bucks, but it's the big bottle and they only offer a huge bottle. I don't understand why fragrances companies sometimes do that, but I like it. I like it a lot. It smells so good and look how much I've used it. okay <laughs> so those are the fragrances let me pick them up and show you i'm bringing with me i'm gonna remember i'm gonna decant this one y'all i also feel like i'm bringing the fragrances for the crew because i'm going with the girls and i just feel like you know what if somebody wants to borrow one if i only brought two with me i would be a little tight like calm down with the sprays you're spraying a lot and now i'm just covering my bases i feel safe i feel secure i feel like i will have a scent whenever all times yes i know it's excuses but it's just nice to smell good and it's just self-care it's therapeutic it's splendorous What's the OP one? Oh no, What? which one are you talking about? Which one are you talking about? This one? Let me know. And these are the two lotions I'm gonna be bringing with me. This is A Thousand Wishes and Champagne Toast. Shit champagne toast is oh the oil perfumery got you i should have known op means oil perf why didn't i know that i did know that i just so this is a ventus for her i'm bringing this because the pineapple note is very lovely in here and the apple gives it extra tart brightness the ventus for her i really recommend this one i might actually bring baccarat rouge 540 with me here's my problem i need to stop I need to just practice and keep him moving. No, no, Nancy, can you imagine? Oh, you smell so good. What are you wearing? Oh, yeah, I'm wearing Alien Goddess. Oh, can I get some? No, not today. Not today. Not today. You can wear it tomorrow. <laughs> but we can't match. We can't twin. We already even have like, okay, I'm going to be a little bougette for a second here. I didn't plan it though, but I'm going to go along. So when they, we booked a photography session and of course we're going to be matching. 
in matching colors. So I'm just like, yeah, we're going to already match clothing and we're all going with braids in our head, box braids. And I just don't think our fragrances need to twin. You know what I mean? Like if the twinning is a little too much, I don't have a twin sister to be twinning like that. It's a little heavy on the relax. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sorry, back to Aventus for her. Yes, the pineapple, for me, the pineapple no is very strong. This is actually the oil I'm wearing today. It's a very, very strong, lovely pineapple no. That is primarily what I smell in here, but it does dry down to a slightly musky, yummy fragrance. Don't think bad musk, good musk, but there's something wonderful about this Aventus for her. <clears throat> I'm not gonna even lie to you though and say I'm gonna buy the real one because the price tag of Creed's fragrances are giving me car payment, literally. It's giving me, it's giving car insurance for multiple cars. It's giving hairstyle that will last two months in my head it's giving a lot of things it's giving the start of braces like it's giving a lot of money okay so i will just keep buying this and call it a day i do think there are um i'm fairly certain dossier and i mean ocha is a sister brand to old perfume Rouge, so they'll probably have also a dupe to this Yes, that's how I started out too. I, well, I'm still a gourmet girl. Always will be. But you know, um, fruity, the fruity fragrances are really, really nice. And you should really try out, test, just give a little test. You know, you can really get these little ones on like TJ Maxx and stuff in a sample pack of like six for like 20 bucks. These like um, clean, fruity type of fragrances like Radiant Nectar. They are, there's something very nice about them that i just feel like when it's 90 degrees outside there is no way i'm spraying angel nova's edp on me absolutely no way unless i want to you know what i mean and i'm not trying to be like that that's just not where i'm trying to go <laughs> um but yeah as it gets hotter you just need that you just need the fresher slightly less too much sense but yeah real quick yeah so this um champagne toast has champagne sparkling berries and juicy tangerine to me this smells like a mixture of not you asking me if i tried byredo listen here's my beef with byredo absolutely not to the price do i have a i think i have a byredo dupe Oh, I do. I do. I have dossiers. Um, hold on. Am I lying to you? Is Embry Vetiver a dupe? Hold on. Because now I'm going to be like, yeah, it's a dupe. And then I'm going to click on it. And it's going to say, no, ma'am, this is not a biradal dupe. So let me just check before I... I feel like I do have a dupe for this, though. Ambry. Oh, yes, I was right. T. All right, so Ambry Vetiver, Vetiver is a dupe for Byredo's Bother Freak. I like this. The retail price of $190 is giving me absolutely the heck not. No, ma'am. And you can't even, like, what stores can I smell that in? I've tried so many different stores and I can't smell it. Yes, I'm going to go to a perfumery for sure. I'm going to just do another haul. So wait out for that video for that haul of old perfumery and I'll get the Byredo fruity ones. I like theirs. I feel like I like their fragrances. It's just too much money. Here's my beef with this scent. You ever hear a scent talked about so much? Um... Escada's love or whatever I feel like have been talked about so much I low-key don't want to get it but I have to because I I have FOMO I have FOMO with this candy love and I passed it two different times and now I just feel like all right girl now you're gonna have me go to the store on Thursday and try to get it
Listen, Jess, I could make two million dollars in six months and I still probably let me not say that because I'm trying to get brand deals in the future but some of these brands are ridiculous with their pricing and you know in real life it costs them like eight dollars <laughs> to, to make the fragrance <laughs> no I heard Escada is a good um I heard Escada is a really good house and it's very affordable so I want to try out Escada for sure for sure for sure Escada seems like an amazing house for sure however i'm gonna be real with you the bottles are giving me powerpuff girls not i'm not mad about it i'm just that is what i've observed it's giving me like the throbbing heart <laughs> but yeah <laughs> anyway mm, this smells so good here's my okay I just feel like if you have an issue with dupe houses, it's because you have money more than anything. Um, I don't like the word juvenile. I hate when people say fragrances are juvenile. What does that mean? I can't smell gourmandi because I'm older. Listen, first of all, I wish somebody would tell me I smell juvenile. I have Ambery Cherry from Dossier, which is a dupe's. Now, do I need to decant this and bring this with me? Oh, this is... Y'all really have me spelling fragrances like I need to bring this. Oh, boy. Oh, no. But anyway, I got distracted. Ambery Cherry is a dupe for Tom Ford's um, Lost Cherry. With the way people talk about that scent, I really wanted it. Until I heard, oh, yeah, the cherry gets lost in like an hour or two. For the price tag, I better spray that one time like this and smell it 16 days from now. I'm still scrubbing my skin and off my skin. I better be on there like, you know, back in the day when you had to scrub your clothes. I better be on there like, <laughs> trying to rub it off my skin for the price of lost cherry. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You, you won't catch me buying lost cherry. I'm not going to hold you, though. Uh, bitter peach is amazing. So the thing about dupe houses are, um, when they make their fragrances, the eau de parfum, well, a lot of them do extraits. So extraits are just naturally stronger than an eau de parfum. Eau de parfum is stronger than eau de toilette. All of that tea and jazz they definitely take the time with the juice and then just make bootleg bottles okay dossier has my least favorite bottles i'm just being honest i have bubbles in my sticker it just looks really ghetto and that's fine okay we're here for a little get ghetto tastic uh, because inside of it the juice inside of it is giving me top tier oh yeah Ultra's fragrances are absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what kind of voodoo magic they put in there, but the I love Callan, which is gentle fluidity gold um, from Ultra, and it lasts so long. Not 8:31. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. I gotta go. Thank you so much for coming on to this live. I will come back on Thursday. maybe a little early, earlier for sure um but yeah real quick i do like their packaging better it's definitely much more sleek much more bougette giving much more mm. one thing i want to real quick point out though it is starting to guys it's starting to like change what is this anyway thank you so much guys bye <laughs>